So Iran wants to be a nuclear power. They have a weapons program. So let's start with the uranium mines. They have three uranium mines at Gushan, Yazad, Yazad rather, and Sagan. And they have a mill that make yellow cake. They have a hexafluoride plant in Ishram. And this is what converts the yellow cake into, into a uranium hexafluoride. And the Chinese built that plant for them. You can do 20, the last report I had on it would, would do about 20 tons a year of uh, uranium hexafluoride. The uranium hexafluoride is stored in stainless steel tanks. You, you put the uh, uranium in as a gas, you let it cool, it becomes a solid, and you can store it. So after you pass it through the centrifuges, you, you let it cool, and you take the cylinder, and you put it in a tunnel so nobody can get at it. And you keep doing this, and their stockpile is, a, is contained in a series of stainless steel tanks, and they're all underground. So you know, mining tunnels or railroad tunnels. And you, then you, when you want to increase your, your uh, percentage of uranium, you take them out, you heat them to the gas, and you feed them through the centrifuges. And when you finish that particular process, you let them cool back. And now you have it in stockpile that was started out at 0.7%. Now you have one that's at, let's say, 3%. And then you can go to 5%, then you go to 10, 15. Uh, they admitted a couple of years ago they were at 60% with their stockpile of U-235. In the last report, that last year, about a year ago, they found a sample in one of these sites that was 83.7% U-235. And actually you can make, that is a fissionable material for a weapon at that level. But, but taking it to 90 it gives you a much better, will, will increase the yield. And they're capable of doing it. They probably already have done it.